Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology question of MRCS. The, the question oxygen hemoglobin, oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shifted to the left in which of the following conditions. So we have to find out the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve uh, changes in a different condition. Here are the options. Options are with decrease to 3 dpg in uh, transfuse red cell, respiratory acidosis, sudden move to a high altitude, pyrexia and hemolytic anemia. So we have to find out one of the option in which the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shifted to the left. So for this condition, first of all, we have to see the different condition where the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shifted. So here we can see the curve shifted to the left when there is a decreased oxygen requirement by the tissue. So oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve is shifted to the left where is there is less oxygen requirement. Here we can see the hypothermia, alkalosis reduced level of DPG to 3 DPG polycythemia so in this condition oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve usually shifted to the left actually here you can see the hypothermia that means the decrease of the temperature alkalosis that means the decrease of hydrogen ion concentration reduce dpg that means the reduce of the 2 3 dpg and also polycythemia so in this condition where there is reduce some certain substances in this condition oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shifted to the left except polycythemia because in polycythemia rbc count increase usually 2 3 dpg or dpg is found in erythrocyte and it reduce non-exercising muscle so when there is reduce glycolysis so 2 3 dpg Usually, it is found in the erythrocyte and it is responsible for the oxygen delivery. So, when it uh, reduce, that means 2, 3 dpg reduce, then oxygen hemoglobin, oxygen delivery capacity reduce. Here, we can see the shifting of the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve to the left. Uh, this is the fetal hemoglobin. First of all, fetal hemoglobin or myth hemoglobin, that means the abnormal hemoglobin then low hydrogen ion low partial pressure of carbon dioxide low 2 3 dpg and low temperature so here we can see in all condition there is the reduction of these substances so in all this uh, condition it occurs it occurs a reduction so when the different substances reduce it causes reduction of the oxygen delivery that means there is shifted to the left of the oxygen hemoglobin, hemoglobin dissociation curve on the other hand here we can see when when it is shipped right it shifts right when there are the different substances raise such as the raise hydrogen ion concentration that means the acidic condition raise partial pressure of carbon dioxide raise 2 3 dpg and raise temperature so in this condition that means the condition it increases and in this condition it shifted to the right so here we can see the when it shifted to the left it left when there is decrease to 3 dpg and here we can see there is respiratory acidosis acidosis means hydrogen ion concentration increase and here we can see the sudden move of high altitude that means increase height pyrexia that means increased temperature hemolytic anemia it is different because in hemolytic anemia there is less blood so it is an peculiarities in hemolytic anemia there is anemia but the as the rbc is less more more oxygen required more oxygen required so oxygen delivery is increased to meet up the lack of oxygen in peripheral tissue so as the decrease to 3 dpg in this condition it shifted to the left so when left then when left when there is reduce all the substances and when it uh, shifted to the right it shifted to the right when there is increase all the substances or all the condition except 
hemolytic anemia here we can see this is the hemolytic anemia and also polycythemia in hemolytic on anemia it shifted to the left so this is all about the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve thank you